Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing a real side dream experience from my book Chronicles of a Cosmic Space Case. Dream 7 A Novel Way to Enter a Home This dream had more the feel of a lucid dream. I was completely aware and conscious within it. I used to practice lucid dreaming and such, and although fun, you don't have the adventures and experiences that real side new you stimulated dreamers and the guides provide. It may have been a dream where I was very attentive and aware, so in a sense a real side dream where you are this way would have the feel of a lucid dream with the additional demonstrational content. Anyway, I was on a street and a few meters from my position was Gwen, my mother, sitting by herself in a car. Naturally, I approached and engaged her in conversation. She seemed rather disheartened and melancholy. On inquiring why she was in this state of being, she would respond along the lines that she was in this dream, but it was very boring and she felt as limited here as on the physical side. To prove this was not so, I bent down and lifted up the car she was occupying and raised it above my head. This seemed to impress upon her the fact that nobody can be as limited as they are on the physical, that things are more easily manipulated and move by thought, etc. Placing the car back down upon the ground, she exited the vehicle and accompanied me as I led her to a house. I then demonstrated a novel way of entering the house that wouldn't have been possible on the physical level. I extended my arms to many times their normal length. I gripped the edges of the house 
and ripped the front section clean away, as though it were paper. We entered the building. Some individuals were inside, making dinner. We lingered for a moment. Then another individual saw fit to attack me. He came lunging at me, flailing his fists. His assault was ineffective, but an attack none the less, and as we have the right to defend ourselves, I seized the foolhardy person by the material of his collar and thrust him upwards, that his head went through the ceiling above us, and he was rendered unconscious. I had seen this in a Superman movie, in a Superman too. Zod had done just this to the chief reporter, although he wasn't exactly defending himself. It was a novel thing to do under the circumstances I found myself in. Dwayne provides a view. Your mum was there, and the car represents an attitude. She's sitting in it, and you demonstrate that there's more going on. This is what the guides do. They create these demonstrations but they also prompt us to do something also, to where you're having your adventure with people you know, who are acceptable to it, and she was. So you went off and went to this other place. This house is a personal thing. On the real side, the house represents the personal you. Like Bob and Joe, that's their house and most people are usually in their house because that's that personal little part their mind, senses, etc. But you went over there and it's maybe someone you know, or whatever, and you ripped off the front of the house. In other words, you made your own entrance. In a way, you kind of intruded. Someone comes up to you and isn't happy with what you're doing, but you're doing what you're doing, and we can get ourselves in trouble on the real side too. 
We do have abilities there, but you'll know the experience best as you take a look at it. So, like here, you would go up to somebody's house if you knew them or not and just walk through the door. You don't even knock. You just walk in and say hi. So you've ripped off the front, which is an exaggeration of that. You just walked in and you see people having a dinner, and that's their private life. But somebody wasn't happy about that, so you threw them through the ceiling, and they were having a nice dinner. And so, Sing the new you song, watch your dream visions, and let the whole of life and the real universal guides show you what is real now. New.